All right, boys, how's it going? Uh, I just thought we would go over uh, our new draft league. Uh, since we are now here in the PDAL, uh, it's not IPL at the moment. Uh, it's currently on hiatus, but we do have another draft league owned by Aaron, and it is a Wi-Fi league, boys. So it is about to hit good on those thumbnails, bro. I'm telling you. I, I usually try to avoid uh, uploading Showdown Leagues because I know Showdown Leagues don't do that well. They don't. I, I'm just telling you straight up, unless you are like a hardcore, like masochistic fucking draft league channel with Showdown, it, it they just don't do well. They're not they're not good for thumbnails. But you're always here with a Wi-Fi league, so we're chilling, we're vibing. Basically, I just wanted to go over the team that we drafted. And I think I did okay. Uh, I did find some glaring problems uh, going into week one. Hopefully they do not persist. Uh, but basically, uh, it's really hard to have a special wall week one. Uh, and you'll see why whenever we go into the battle. Because I did not expect <laughs> for slow bro, right? Not to be able to not be my special wall all the time, right? <laughs> you would think slow bro crazy special wall how how can he not be a special wall he has some problems all right they're they're usually i'm pretty good about drafting a pokemon like my lodic <laughs> to take everything special right and then i have a backup uh, i did not draft my lodic i did not i did not do that i went a different route uh with drafting this time and uh i i think in fact it is a very me team uh, but it's also not. This is not a team that I'm used to, like, messing with. Uh, but our first pick was, in fact, Great Tusk. Now, if you don't know about Great Tusk, Great Tusk is the GOAT, alright? There's there's no greater Tusk than this guy, okay? Uh, and with Protosynthesis, we're, we're not worried about that. I, I get it, he has no ability. But the fact that he gets Headlong Rush and Rapid Spin is huge, alright? This Mon can sweep with these two moves. That's literally all I need. Plus the fact that he gets CC and Volk up. We're cooking. We are absolutely cooking. He gets great coverage. I'm very happy with him. Uh, I I just I just picked him straight out. Uh, the next thing I wanted was not Ogre Pond Heart Flame. <laughs> I'm going to keep it real. This was not my fire type of choice. And I definitely feel like I could have done better. Uh, but I picked I picked Ogre Flame, so or, or Hearth Flame, so that's where we're running. I wanted the Water Guy. I wanted him. I really, really did. I really wanted the Water Guy. Uh, but we got the the Heat flame, Hearth Flame Mask. So Ivy Cultural is going to be a fire move, obviously. Uh, but he still gets everything that the Water One gets. All right. So he has Trailblaze. He gets Knock Off. Uh, he gets Brick Break for screens. He has uh, Horn Leech. Which is crazy because Horn Leech goes hard. Uh, he he gets he gets coverage. He gets good moves. He also gets Sword Stance and Stomping Tantrum, so he can go hard. Uh, he's not going to be great week one. <laughs> you'll you'll see during the battle for week one why he won't be amazing. But I'm still happy with him. Uh, apparently, people play him more defensively. I'm going with more of an offensive like pivot set. Uh, most times, uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll have to see how I play with him because I've never messed with Ogre Bond before. Uh, and then we have Bundle. Now, Bundle was a scared pick because <laughs> we got sniped again. <laughs> I wanted Hisuian Samurai because my whole thing was I don't want to run rocks on Great Toss. I don't want to do it. I don't want to run rocks on him. And I, I think I'm valid for that, you know? He's, he's not a mon that you want to run rocks on. He's a mon that you want to click buttons and BM, you know? And, you know, rapid spin to get speed and then BM even more. <laughs> but that that came down to me not getting it, so I went bundle. And I won't lie, I am a bundle hater. Not because I don't like bundle. I think bundle design is fucking hilarious. Uh, I, I just don't like going up against it. So I literally picked it because I needed a water type and I wanted something fast. Because I was really worried about my speed tiers at the time. As you can see, they're actually not bad. Uh, I could probably pull up something to show how not bad they are. They're, they're, they're pretty good speed tiers considering. Like I, I, have, I have really, really, really good speed tiers 
on this team. I think they gradually go down pretty well. Uh, I think the hard drop off might just be after Ogre Pond. It, it kind of goes down to 90. It's a little hard drop, but it, it, it's pretty good. I think the speed tiers on this team pretty all right. Uh, the only problem with Bundle is he has no moves. <laughs> Man runs Ice Beam, uh, Freeze Dry, and Hydro Pump. That's about it. <laughs> like, I, I don't have much room to do anything. So people just know what you're going to bring with Bundle. And that's a little scary. I did see that he gets Snowscape and Aurora Veil. But the fact that they come separately is like I have to click two separate moves. And Bundle is, uh, he's defensive. <laughs> and that's all he has going for him. Um... But he's he's gonna be my crutch. He's, he's for sure going to be my outspeed crutch every single chance I get. Uh, because he's just fast. He's fast as hell. And as long as he doesn't miss hydro pumps, uh, he's gonna stay on the team. Straight up. He's, he's just good. He's just good. Uh, and then we have our first turret captain, Ravambi. Now, the, the story behind Ravambi taking terror captain and not what I originally wanted, Belly Bolt, is purely the fact that I got plowed by this thing in IPL. Uh, and I'm pretty sure you guys remember that. I got fucking railed. <laughs> that match fucking destroyed me. And I'm like, you know what? It's a pretty good mine. And you know, it gets great coverage. The only problem is, right, is it no longer gets Giga Drain and it doesn't get Roost. Or like, I don't think it gets Moonlight. It only has Moon Blast. So it has really no healing, which kind of sucks because it's a setup mod, right? And I, I would, you would think, you know, you would get something better than Draining Kiss, but it just has Draining Kiss. That's it. That's 50 base power. I, I don't care how many Quiver Dances you set up. Moon Blast is always going to be better. Always. And you're never clicking Leech Light. So, uh, other than those two teensy weensy problems, it's it's pretty good. Uh, it's also a Sticky Web mod, which is huge. I have another Sticky Web mod, so big on my buff types, you know. I, I like my Sticky Webs. What can I say? I, I drafted... What was it? Vickavolt back in the day, and then recently Galvantula, and now I have Rabambi. So he's he's great. He's a good mon. Uh, I I'm definitely probably going to bring Quiver a lot, and he is a Terra Captain, and he can be any Terra type, which is awesome, fucking awesome. Uh, which is great because Terra Blast or Rabambi with Quiver is huge. Just being able to swap a type in on a guy like right as they're coming in. And then fisting them is great. It is absolutely great. And it's even better because we technically, we don't have Terra Draft Preview, but we have a thing where you have to tell your opponent the Terra, the Terra types you brought on your Mons before you bring the team, which is great because the, <laughs> I won't get fisted <laughs> by random shit. I'll know, I'll know what to watch out for the Terra Blast, but I'm purely bringing Ravambi week one probably I don't know we might not <laughs> we'll see uh it, it really just depends my team for week one is kind of like estranged because it's scary uh we got belly bolt round five I really went down the ladder for this one purely because I know belly bolt's just good uh it does I was gonna make it a terra captain that was my original intention with belly, drafting Belly Bolt. It was going to be a Terra Captain. Uh, new Slash, it is not a Terra Captain. <laughs> uh, and that's just because I, I have a better Terra Captain. It, it's this. It's way better than this thing. Uh, belly Bolt's just good. It's it's very bulky for, uh, what is it? I'm pretty sure a two-stage Mon. It, it's very bulky. Um, its abilities are anything to snuff at, I guess. Electromorphous with the charge effect is, is nice in niches, which I'll probably end up using it eventually. Uh, just the fact that it's an electric type and it's bulky is good. And it can also stall. It gets it gets slack off. I also chose it because I didn't have anything with healing. And Belly Bolt has slack off. It gets discharged. has a pivot move with Bolt Switch. It gets Muddy Water, which is the dumbest shit of all time. I get it's a frog, but it gets Muddy Water. He also gets toxic, which I don't know why he gets. He gets sub, <laughs> sub toxic stack off. Discharge. He's such a stolly piece of shit, and I'm I'm glad I got him. But uh, the next one, I kind I kind of went down. Basically, I got my three high picks, and then I said fuck that, uh, and I didn't get snipe for the rest of the. 
All of these were, were according to plan. I got every single one of these mons after I picked them, which was kind of crazy. It was kind of crazy because I planned this whole entire draft out and I didn't get sniped after I did. And it was insane. It was like the first time ever in my entire existence. I only got sniped twice. Uh, well, we picked River Room. Uh, River Room, I love River Room mainly because of the filter. It's absolutely insane. Uh, it's, it's decent as well, but shift gear is crazy. All right, you can run basically no speed in some situations and sweep an entire team if you get a shift gear up. It is insane. Uh, I did not realize this. It also gets haze. So it's just Gimbu 2.0. <laughs> I just have Gimbu 2.0. He's just, you know, you know, he's the car now. Uh, high horsepower kind of goes crazy as well. Uh, him also getting gunk shot is massive. I'm sure I'm going to miss every single one of those. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm happy with him. I, I forgot that. Why does he get tempered flame? I guess it makes sense. I didn't even realize he got fire moves. He gets overheat, which he's a car. That makes sense. The one thing that he should get, though, is is rapid spin. He is literally on wheels. He does not get rapid spin. I, I don't know why. He has, like, spin moves or spin type moves. He gets a gyro ball and, like, some, some other spin stuff. I can't think of the, the move off the top of my head, what it was called. And I can't, can't seem to find it. But... <laughs> He, he's literally a car. He can spin out. I don't I don't know. I don't know what they were thinking. I feel like that's a real miss. I feel like Pokemon ever watches this, which I don't think they will. I'm definitely fix, you know, please. Uh, and then I went Slowbro. And the reason why I went Slowbro is <laughs> Iron Bundle or Hydro Pump is not a reliable water type. <laughs> so I'm like, you know what? <laughs> we need another water type. <laughs> and we got him. <laughs> Uh, he also has Regenerator, which is great. Slowbro is just solid. He has big uh, big defense, decent special defense. Uh, and th this is where kind of the problem comes in, is we we have Slowbro. I mean, I guess we could trade him out for Slow King. I don't know if Slow King is available on the draft board. He is. He is available. The problem is he's 14 points. And I didn't want to spend 14 points. If I were to go and get him now... I would have to drop uh, one of my guys. I would probably have to drop Knackle or Spiritomb. And honestly, the only one I would want to drop is Spiritomb because Knackle is just better. We only got Spiritomb just to prevent Rapid. That, I, that's literally what I planned out is I was going to get Palosan. And then I saw Knackle uh, was free. And he's just good with Eevee Light. He's just bulky. For no reason, he's just bulky. Um... And that's just what I went with because he's crazy bulk and he has better moves. He gets recovered, uh, he gets rocks, uh, and he gets the uh, salt cure. So he goes hard. He goes crazy. Uh, yeah, Na Nackley's huge. Nackley's like absolutely big, and I love him. Uh, so I, I drafted him. But the the problem with Slipro is he's just not as specially defensive as I thought he was gonna be. Um. So I really, really, really just don't have any specially defensive bonds. Uh, it's it's kind of bad. It's kind of bad. Uh, we have Noivern, which I drafted as a late pick because I needed something off the ground. Uh, what I didn't realize is Noivern and Rabombi also get defog. So I have crazy removal, man. Crazy removal. Like, if I need to make sure things stay off the field and I'm not setting up stuff, crazy removal. Also, Rep Room has Talk to Spikes. Which is even better for me. Uh, kind of sucks that I don't have Ceaseless Edge Samurai, but you know what? It's fine. It's fine. You know, it's fine. Uh, Infiltrator is nice. I am worried about screens on some of these teams that we're going to be going up against. So I will 100% be using Infiltrator if and when. I just don't remember if it's for physical moves. I'm pretty sure it's for every move because it just says it ignores. Uh, but, but you know what Noivern does. It has Roost. Uh, and, you know, he has Draco Meteor. <laughs> Roost, Draco Meteor, Air Slash. It's probably going to be the set. Uh, I don't really know what else he can do. I don't think he gets, like, he doesn't get Nasty Plot. He doesn't get Calm Mind. So he's not really a setup mon. He's just kind of here to, to, fill, to fill the flying type void. And to do some coverage things. I almost made him a Terra Captain. 
almost did. But there really isn't any point. Like he, there's just better things he can do. And he's he's a decent mon. He's a decent mon. For the amount of points I spent on him, I don't know if he was crazy. I think he's what, 10, 10 points? Go back to the to the the draft board here. Hold on. Where's the where's the roster? Uh, how much was he? He was nine points. I so yeah, he was he was pretty worth it for nine points. I, I really did go very back low on him. And that was just purely because I need a flyer. I really, really needed that flyer, man. Uh, I just realized the points are right here. What am I doing? Uh, our next terror captain, though, is crazy. Absolutely insane. I call it the Olive Tree uh, because I can never fucking remember this thing's name. Uh, I'll, 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 Arbeliva, I'm pretty sure. That's, that's how. Uh, it has Harvest, which is insane but it also has seed sower which i will probably be bringing a lot considering i will not be bringing earthquake <laughs> will not be bringing earthquake grassy terrain will not be fucking me uh i have headlong rush and high horsepower on the two mons for my ground moves i do not need earthquake which is perfect because arvaliva is a crazy terra captain like it, it doesn't get much coverage normally, so it's a very, like, weird mon to use. But the fact that it's kind of bulky, like, it has a decent amount of special defense, and it can para, is really good. It's really good for me. Uh, I could bring this thing week one. I could. The problem is I would have to tear it immediately. And I really don't know if he can do it. <laughs> like, he's he's kind of just here you know he might be able to clutch us out a win i i could review the team again and see if i bring arvaliva instead but like you know it's it's kind of hard it's kind of hard because the the week one is week one's gonna be a hard week man i i think it's gonna be the hardest week for us Arv arvaliva could come it could come but i'm i'm just not sure it it does go crazy with Terra. The only problem is if I do bring it as our Terra, it just can't hit the mons we needed to hit. That's the only issue. Well, it might be able to. It does have Earth Power. I keep forgetting this mon gets Earth Power. It's crazy. It's crazy that this Pokemon gets Earth Power. It also gets a Luring Voice, which does 80 base power. It should not do that much. It really shouldn't. It's crazy. I, I've seen this thing used in uh, SPL, I think, uh, with fucking Poke Game, turning it Terra Fairy. It it does crazy damage. It just does crazy damage. It's insane. It's just crazy mod. It's just crazy mod. Uh, it also gets uh, bug coverage, which is fantastic, absolutely beautiful. Uh, and it just has decent grass moves. You need an energy ball. Uh, we also have like Strength Sap and Leech Seed, which probably won't use Leech Seed. A crazy amount, but Strength Zap, I'm going to abuse. 100% going to abuse. But this thing with Terra Blast is just insane. It goes super, super, super hard for no reason. Uh, but yeah, he, he's our especially defensive guy. Uh, and I'm glad I made him our Terra. One of our Terras, because honestly, I don't know what I would do if he wasn't. He would probably be very bad. But we also did, in fact, draft a second grass type because Ogre Pond is not a reliable grass. I it, it, like, is, but it isn't. And what I should have done, in retrospect, is probably draft another fire type. But I didn't. Uh, if I were to choose, honestly and truly, we could probably drop Slowbro or Noivern for a fire type. I don't know what fire type, but probably for a fire type because we're very lacking in the fire department other than Ogre Pond. Ogre Pond clicks one fire move. <laughs> That's it. We 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 have nothing else, but sometimes you don't need anything else. So we're just going to see how it goes. Uh, we already talked about Nagli. It's it's crazy. It's just crazy. It, it The salt cure is insanity. I, I don't know what else to say. Like... The, the purifying salt, not having the, uh, like, being able to be status, and then sturdy, it's nice, it gets recover, it, it gets salt cure, which does the fucking crazy-ass damage to water and steel types, which is still insane to me that they made a move 
that does one fourth of a water and steel types health every turn after it's crazy it's absolutely insane and then you give them on recover and it can be eviolated it's 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 wild it's wild it's absolutely wild like its stats here don't give it much but you put an eviolite on it and then you give it max hp and the max special defense it's it goes hard it goes absolutely hard and then i last drafted spiritum purely for rapid spin but we do get willow so it's perfectly fine. Also, Foul Play Spiritomb is in right now. It's been going crazy. A lot of these mons that we're going up against are going to want to set up. Especially sword stances or like attack buffs. And we have Foul Play Spiritomb to take care of them. The problem <laughs> starts to come in with my team is when they set up specially. I just don't have a special guy. <laughs> I have Arbeliva Spiritomb in Slow Pro. That is it. <laughs> Like, if, if they bring a special Pokemon, we are balls to the wall, bringing Ravambi Quiver and hoping for the best. That's that's the only way. But I'm I'm pretty happy with the draft. Uh, week one's already built for. I'll have to review to see what I bring. Um, but I think you guys will be happy with the team. I've come up with, with some funny things, some funny sets, uh, because it is a Sun team that I'm going to encounter, so... Had to had to come up with some funny things on the fly. Realize one of my mods didn't have an item. Like, you know what I could do? I could do something funny. But yeah, that's review. Uh, I'm happy with them, honestly. I really, really am. And I and I hope you guys enjoy PBL. I'll, I'll be uploading it probably uh, in the few coming weeks. Because we can't upload the video the week of. I usually upload it after. So while I'm playing week two, I'm uploading week one. That's probably how it'll go. So expect a lot of PBL October probably till november or december and maybe into january depending if i get in the playoffs because there's gonna be a lot of weeks i'm pretty sure there's like 16 of us on this dock and then there's 16 more people on another like schedule it's crazy like it, there's a whole nother wi-fi schedule there's a midnight schedule with like 16 more people so yeah, we got <laughs> we got a lot of weeks. We got a lot of weeks. But yeah, hopefully we can pull out week one. I really, really hope we can. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.